Hey everybody, uh, this is my first commentary for the game, and I'm not exactly happy with it. I was trying some new recording software to uh, see if I could get it at 1080p, but my computer is not not up to snuff for that, so I went ahead and recorded it with a with the replay system, and I'm going to talk about that real quick before I get into the game itself. The replay system is okay. There's a lot of problems with it. I mean, the f the first big problem is that it's hard as it's hard to f even find a replay. You have to uh, stop playing the games, go to the community section, and start digging it out. And you just have it's not just your replays; it's everybody's replays that have gone on in the past, however period of time they allow for you to actually get the replay. And if you don't find it fast enough, it just falls off and it's lost forever. So that's annoying. It'd be nice if it was just your replays. Be like a section for yourself and a section for the rest of the community. Because once the community gets big enough, it's going to be impossible to find anything. And the other problems become apparent uh, just by looking at it. There's no uh, UI interface except for the top. You have chat, you have the uh, player health and lanes and all that, but you can't see player level, you can't see player cash. I mean, you can see player level from a, a distance, but you can't see the the person whose uh, perspective you have, you can't see his level, you can't see his cash, you can't see what he's invested his points into. So for a person watching, it's a little harder to keep track of uh, what's going on and get a good frame reference. Um, I meant frame of reference, excuse me. And it's just a little annoying. And there's some other uh, weird glitchy stuff, like uh, sooner or later you'll see me attacking a turret that looks like it's on my team, but all turrets right now, no matter who put them down, show up as part of the hotshot team in replay, so that can be confusing at times when I'm going into an area that looks like it's full of friendly turrets, but I'm dying for some reason. So yeah, there's some issues with the replays, but there are some advantages to it over just doing um, a recording of a live game, and that is the fact that I can actually... I can look at other players' perspectives. I didn't do it here, but um, if I wanted to, I could switch to any other player here both my teammates, my uh, enemy players, and so forth. So that's that's pretty nice, but to me it's not really worth it because right now I don't know enough about the game to really comment on what other players thinking. I mean, who knows what uh, Cheston's thinking right now. I don't play Enforcer. I'm barely good enough to play as a commando. So that's my, my rant about the replay system right now. I'm sure it'll get better as time goes on. It's good they have something in place right now. And I'm just hoping that we can... Um, we can download hard copies to the uh, to our PCs later on. Is it having to hope that we get it before uh, it falls off the community page? Another huge problem with it is also the fact that um, you have to actually stop playing the game and dig it out. So if I'm in the middle of you know marathon session, I can't just I stop what I'm doing and go and grab it. So that also sucks. So it's not very practical. So the, for the for the meantime, I'm going to be doing replays. Um, I'll be doing my own recordings and commenting on those instead of this. But this worked for now. Uh, this game here, uh, like I said, I was recording test some, uh, some new software I'm using. Uh, for those interested, I'm using PlayClaw instead of Fraps. I was using Fraps earlier on, but let's give PlayClaw a try because I heard it's a offers better frame rate for in-game play. And for the most part it did. Uh, during 1080p, uh, when I was playing at 1080 re resolution, it was uh, giving me some a uh, decent frame rate for my computer anyway. It was playable at any rate. I know some people cannot play at 30 frames per second. I can because I've been using a really, really awful computer for the past like five years and I just got a, I just got a really good one now this past fall, but um, since I'm sort of trained now to be a uh, to tolerate low frame rates, uh, and here's the here's the turret problem. It looks like it's my friendly turret, but it's actually an enemy turret, as you can see. But getting back to my PC, it was, it was a bad PC, and I'm just kind of used to playing at low frame rates. So playing at 30 frames is not a huge loss for me. I'm sure at some point I'll get tired of it as I get used to playing at 60 frames, but we're talking not a big deal. However, it is not, regardless of my ability to play the game while recording, the the uh, playback quality is just terrible and uh, it's just, it was just choppy slow so the frame rate's not good enough to record at 30 frames it's just good enough to play it I guess I'm um, guessing my frame rate while playing was actually closer to 25 or so just just under 
enough to actually make it uh, viewable. But still playable for me. As you see, at this game, I'm doing decently. And uh, did pretty well this game. I'm not going to be showing uh, just games where I win. I uh, There's a lot of good people playing this game. I'm not claiming to be good at all. But I am, I am learning how to um, engage as a commando. I think the I think the big thing is really learning how to play as a team for me. We're doing a five man pre made right now, and while I think individually we all are uh, pretty decent at it, we don't really come together as a cohesive unit yet. And you know, part of that is because we don't play the same people every time. It's a sort of rotation of amongst like seven people or so. So there's not a whole lot of uh, attempts to learn strategies or anything like that. Whereas I've seen some games where, um, gosh, what is his name? I'm trying to figure it out because I want to give him credit. Uh, G. Boone or something like that. He's another Wascot. His team, uh, I'm not sure how good they actually are, but they were good enough to beat us in like 11 minutes. So uh, you want I wish I, I recorded that. For, uh, I tried to find that replay, but I could not because I want to. Um, I want to show the difference between a team that's actually cooperating and actually sh uh, playing as a as a team as opposed to us or sort of, you know, we're communicating when we need help and all that, but we're not really th thinking ahead and what's going on here. We're just sort of doing our own thing and calling for help as we need it. Like right here, I'm alone in the jungle. Uh, I guess really good teams, that doesn't happen. You'll see uh enemy team will make sure that You'll just get free reign of the upper area like this. And right now I'm just sort of thinking around. Just sort of pestering people. And yeah, you see over there once again, wrong color turret. I'm not trying to be too critical of the replay system. For where, considering where the game is at right now, it's pretty awesome to have even any kind of replay system. It's just not just a few a few issues on it that uh like right here I'm going for skills and I can't pick anything I can't you can't see what I'm picking at all you see the animation for it and um since I've last played I've been playing I I bought Wascot this was uh for the for a week they had a they did an interesting feature where you could actually play all pros for free instead of rotation and that was a nice way to see what uh what pros you liked and originally I was playing uh Commander Spark I originally was going to be playing. I thought I'd be playing a lot of defenders because I generally do uh, a lot of healing and support roles in games, in team-based games. But I don't know. I played support a little bit, played a little bit of combat girl, and was not feeling it. Um, I think it's because they're not. There's a bit more to it than just playing. Um, just playing the uh, medic role. You also have to make sure you got some really good turret placement. You have to make sure you're watching your back and really using your uh, damage skills really well. If you are good with a laser or the the uh, supports bomb, you're really going to be able to do some uh, get some kills or get some assists off, and uh, just deny the enemy access to your team. And I don't know, maybe I think a big part of um, getting better at the game is just sticking with the class, or how bad you are at it. If you like the way it plays, and and up here getting fired up by an assault, but where was I? Yeah. Um, Defender wasn't feeling it. I uh, tried. I originally started playing Captain Spark. I really like the way Captain Spark played, but uh, his for those who know his arc flash, his teleport ability is currently it's not bugged. It's just um, it was bugged, but the fix for the bug is done in a way that makes it so it won't bug. It's it's done just in a kind of a sloppy way. I guess it's kind of a just a just a quick fix right now until they can really deal with it head on. I guess. But right now is if you teleport and if your destination at the end of the teleport is inside a wall, the teleport will just completely fail. And that that's not a problem. The problem is that it eats the cooldown of the teleport. So you're kind of screwed if you try to teleport and you just didn't realize you're on a you're just barely inside a wall or something. I have teleported inside a wall as as Captain Spark, and it is really it's much more annoying than no teleport at all because you have to wait for the teleport to actually go back off, or go back off cooldown in order to get out of the wall, so it's it's a fix, but it's not a great fix. So, I didn't like that, 
And if you're going to play Captain Spark, make sure you're, you're, you get a really good, a really, really good feel for his teleport's range because you want to make sure that thing's going to go off because if it doesn't, you're going to probably die. Uh, Wascott's a little more, um, I don't want to say difficult. He's, he's different. All the other two classes, he has no easy outs. He cannot blind people. He cannot teleport. He cannot jump away. And Wesco does a nice damage debuff, but if the whole team is firing on you at point blank, you're not going to survive even with the debuff. It is nice that he's immune to uh, grapples for a period. Uh, that makes him really strong against other against other uh, commandos. But really good commandos, like I said before, good commandos will be looking for that effect. So I have to have a real good sense of timing. That's when to use a shifty shuffle. In our chat, um, we are being jerks. Um, I don't know. Odo, Odo Key is a guy who he's not. He's not a bad player. He has stomped us in games before, but he, um, for whatever reason, he likes to be rude in chat. So we decided to mess with him for whatever reason. And I don't know. I don't know what, the, what it is about that, but people who want to be, I guess it's, they find it funny. You know, whatever. I don't generally talk in chat very often, so because because I don't really, I don't know. You're not gonna see that person very often, so I guess it is a beta, so you will see certain faces over and over again. But I don't like it caught up in sort of trash talking, and I don't. I don't think I really talk. I think I, I, I sometimes will do, you know, have fun, good luck, and I will let people know when the game is they did well. I try not to get too bitter about losing. Because I, mean, I haven't even played 100 games yet. I'm closing in on my 100th game. That's about, I think I've been playing for about 40-ish hours. So I still don't really know how to play that well. I know the basics. I can do pretty well against people who don't, who don't know how to play. But if I go up against a, a really good pre-made team, I will lose. Because a lot of nu uh, nuance. I am still... Uh, Wascott's hook is really hard to learn how to use. You have to understand how... Um, I'm still not quite sure if it has physics on it, because at some point you'll you'll hook up, you'll go flying. Other cases you will you'll won't even get a lot of elevation up, like it's like a jump. So I'm still learning how to how to work that. Probably need to read up on it. At this point, we're pushing pretty hard, and like I said, the game itself is it's pretty much a roll. Um, they're not totally um, getting stomped here. But it is from pretty one-sided. I will try to make sure I'm not putting in just one-sided games. I don't want to give the impression that I am really awesome at the game because I am not. I want to stress that. And yeah, in case you can't tell, I don't have a, a huge ego. I try not to anyway. And I try. I'm. I'm not trying to complain about balance or anything because I, like I said, I don't know a lot of how the classes work yet. So try not to complain about stuff and. Uh, this game was done before the recent Valentine's patch that was released on the 10th, I think. Uh, or the 9th. It was the 9th, actually. So, um, I will have replays later commenting on that patch. Which has some, um, two, two large, or no, three large balance changes, which I will comment on. But I will say beforehand that I do not have a, a huge grasp on balance, so I'm not going to try to comment too much just uh, on what I think, which could be very wrong. And I'm trying to think what level I am at this point. I think I'm level 12 or 13. I'm not keeping track of it at this point, but the game's pretty much over. They're getting, uh, they're just getting stomped over at this point. There's kind of a a balance between attacking the money ball and keeping the enemy off of you. At this point, the enemy team is pretty much given up. They're not really going out to try to attack us. But if an enemy team knows what they're doing, they can take advantage of you and kill you and try to make a comeback. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And that is my first commentary. I'll be doing more of these. I hope they have one up tomorrow. And uh, let me know what you want to see. Right now I only have Wascot purchased, so my choice is kind of limited. And we're going to get some post-game smack talk if you want to see that. I don't really care. But um, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.